I think I just figured out why I was thinking I look so strange this morning is because I was facing the other way. Um, cause I was sitting the other way in the chair. So anyways, um, plus I keep seeing and keep, uh, I'll see videos and I keep having all black from this, um, charcoal makeup all under my eyes. So I, I, I don't care if I look like a wreck, whatever. Um, uh, the dog over there keeps barking and barking like all hysterically. I can see her. She's out in the yard. She's always out in the yard when he goes to work. And so I don't know what is going on there. Got Stella concerned. But um, a little while ago I left because um, this was one of the things I wanted to talk about was the banking thing. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. There is light coming in weirdly. So, um, anyways, the, um, when I saw, cause there was videos where they were saying that the banks were crashing and then somebody's like, they said it was going to happen on a Friday and here it goes and, um, was going through the whole list. My mom, first thing she texted me this morning and she said, it's all over the banks that are all over the news. The banks are crashing. Um, she said it was starting with the, um, not Microsoft, uh, Silicon Valley or something. She says Silicon Valley banks or something. So I don't know what all that means with Wall Street and all the BS, but I knew what was, I know what's going on. And I also don't know how long they can drag this, you know, I mean, they dra drag around these dead carcasses for <laughs> months, I swear to God. So I don't know how long they're going to drag this one out, but I think they're going to start going quick because you've already got the panic. This is really going to show people how much do you value the dollar? You know, that's how they have control over you. I mean, people cannot understand how to exist without this trade that they developed like that. Like you try, like, um, even when I, I had first started talking about it up at the weed store, asking her, how are y'all going to do it when that goes down? And she was like, had no clue what I was talking about. And every time I bring it up, she'll say something like, well, we're taking credit cards or something like that. And I'll be like, I get, people don't understand at all. And I'm not saying like I understood, like I, when I started uh, you know, doing the research on maritime law and, uh, you know, our birth certificates and straw man and all of that is stuff. And the whole financial institute and like, you know, now it's coming out how, um, you know, JFK had started this stuff with the uh, wanting to, um, or, or there's so much stuff coming out right now about, the centralized banks like the stuff coming out that all of the banker uh rich people who were on the titanic were all against centralized banks and they didn't want to uh you know to get control over us like what they've done and so you know um and they've killed anybody who's ever gotten in their way so i mean they'll kill a whole ship of people they'll kill a whole you know they'll kill the towers they don't care they'll kill as many people as necessary to get what they want and you know they want control they want all the money for themselves they want us to have nothing they want us to be entertainment as we all struggle and suffer <laughs> that's their entertainment so um so once um i was seeing that that they're crashing now then this is more than likely you know i mean there's still so much <laughs> i've got so much up in the air right now like I said before, that's like all the balls they're juggling are all up in the air. There's so many things that are going on. It's like, and, uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of them that are all falling at the same time. And that's kind of funny how symbolically, like if you think about all of these stars or whatever falling out of the sky, the things that we used to look up to, it's all switching. And so... um the people, you know, or they were at the top. I'm not saying every single person that ever uh, rose to success, but these people who uh, clung to uh, that they would do anything for money to be on top. That you know, uh, they chose a they chose a path, and that path is hit a dead end. <laughs> and so now the people who chose the other path then they get to go towards the goal. We get we get to live in that heaven on earth. They try to create 
you know, hell on earth by controlling us and making things so toxic. But now it's going to turn into heaven on earth, you know. And so now, um, uh, you know, as they're crashing and stuff, you know, this is going to be where it's going to start really getting dangerous because that's when they, you know, took down the towers and stuff. And and now it's coming out to, you know, oh, the safes were empty. <laughs> As, you know, when you start when you started hearing about this and doing the research in 2020, when there was like I don't know the deep divers, like I I didn't know that it was so, um, you know, so few of us with that, but how many people along this whole route to awakening to the truth of this place have gotten stuck in all different you know places, and so it's kind of been a hindrance. But there's going to, that's why I said, when all these balls start falling, there's going to be so many. They're not even going to know what all to look at. It's like the whole world is going to fall apart. The whole thing is blowing up. And is going to, all the people who are holding on for dear life, you know, that think that's the only way. Like, and it's going to show them how they're going to be impacted when the dollar crashes. That is going to be a big wake up. How does that affect you? I'll tell you, as soon as I heard, then I was like, oh, I've got some cash. Now's the time. Let's get up there and go. Um, so I wanted to run up to the weed store with the cash I had. And, um, you know, and then the, that greedy voice over there starts going, yeah, well, get some more cash out. Good. Go and look, you know, and all that stuff. And I'm driving and I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. And that's why I said that can be intoxicating. You got to really recognize the difference to find the true uh, a balance to what it is you're looking for, but you know, start in with that. Yeah, do that and do that. And you're thinking, yeah, yeah, that's so smart. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. But then the good voice, luckily, I always have a strong one of those, comes in and is like, yeah, but I was really, when you know the truth, even if they don't know the truth, is that really cool? It's not really cool to do something like that. I mean, this is gonna be a loss for them. And you really wanna impact a bigger loss for what they're gonna go through from this. And I was like, no. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to, the money I intended to spend, I'm just going to spend that and whatever, you know, that amount of joints and just be cool about it or whatever. Um, but I did order a few things and stuff um, that I had wanted to get because I thought, well, I'm not going to be able to get that stuff. It's going to be gone. I mean, there's not going to be any way to transfer. I mean, a lot of stuff is going to be gone. I mean, who knows how much of the stuff we're even going to get because everything is going to get, it's going to be a domino effect. I mean, you know, when all these corporations crash, who's going to go to work? Like, there's not going to be UPS drivers. There's not going to be a, and see, this is the thing is where these people are going to think, oh my God, I've lost my job. I've lost my livelihood. I've lost this. I've lost that. And so many people are going to look at their loss through the dollar and they're going to just feel that and pack them like, um, you know, I've lost everything. My house has no value. And it, it, you'll see how they'll be so deeply affected in that way. They won't be able to see the positive things that are happening. Because to me, it was like, uh, I think the people who will be scared, they'll run and try and hide their money and be scared and hold on to it or something. And, um, you know, they're trying to make runs on the bank and whatnot to try and get their money out, you know, so they can hide it. It's like, oh, it's so sad because you don't understand what's going on about it. But man, um, but to me, it's like, ah, <laughs> uh, just spend it. But, you know, I mean, you have to also realize, you know, when you have that knowing of what's going on, it's all by intention. So you got to really think about what is your intention? Like, um, you know, if you don't want to go and screw a bunch of people over, but you know, understand what's happening with um, the economy, then, you know, you don't go out and screw a bunch of people over. Um, you can't play dumb when you know the truth, you know what I mean? So, you know, be mindful of any actions, especially of however long they drag this out of what's going to go down. And, you know, realize this is, um, you know, we're actual people are going to be affected and her, you know, like the little weed store. I mean, that's still like a mom and pop kind of place, even though they've been making a lot of money. I still, you know, they're going to probably have a huge impact when all of a sudden they realize that they are giving away something that has value for something that has no value. 
And, you know, even if it's $10,000 for a short period of time or something, it's going to be like... Uh, but those are the things that are going to get people to wake up and understand and see and to understand what, you know, what they're doing with this whole system and how they are controlling you and stuff. Because then once you let go, it's like you realize, hey, this is just paper. This has no value. Y'all are sitting here valuing it and, you know, going to work for 80 hours a day and shit like that. Um, 80 hours a day, 80 hours a week. Um and shit like that. Like, I did the same thing. When you think that that has value, but they're the ones selling you all the stuff, and it's the stuff becomes worse and worse quality. It's like you're, you're just working for nothing. You can't ever get ahead. And so, um, anyways, that is where people will see, <clears throat> you know, that this is really going to free them up. And it's going to crash the economy so hard where it will be where people can get houses and stuff. Where they've made it impossible for people to get ahead. It's going to crash it so people can. But the people who are losing something aren't going to see that side. They're only going to be stuck on that, you know, monetary value more than likely. Like, oh, my house was worth $600,000 uh, $600, and now it's worth... Um, you know, $2,000 or whatever it's going to be. Like, I don't know. It's going to be dramatic. And even that may take um, a couple months of keep dropping and dropping. Like I said, I don't know how abruptly they're going to do this. It's like, you know, a lot of this stuff, do they rip off the bandage real hard? Because um, people are going to go into such crisis over everything because they're so entrapped in this, enslaved into this system that um, even though it's a toxic system, that they would rather be in a toxic, you know, they'd rather have an abusive husband than have no husband at all, basically. And they have to see, like, no, you can get away from that husband, and you can be free, and you can go out and really experience life without getting smacked down every time you stand up. And so that is um, the beautiful part. But you know, once you've been abused for a really long time, it takes a while to heal from all of the shit that they've done. And so, you know, everybody's got to be reprogrammed, you know, and um, you know, it's like retraining their brains to um, see things differently. And so, you know, that's going to be the hard part when all that starts going. But now I think things are really picking up steam. And I think things can get, you know, for sure violent over this weekend, especially who knows what Monday will bring now, <laughs> like, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, we still have two nights before that. And one of them is daylight savings time. And um, I don't know uh, the significance of that when they've um, just manipulated uh, calendar and time so much. And it just keeps popping up. I've just never noticed it before popping up so much on my phone to remind me of daylight savings time. And I was like, that is weird. Um, so, you know, it's just coincidences this weekend. There's never coincidences. Everything has meaning. It's just always hidden. So, I don't know. Um, but they're going to um, uh, whatever is going to go down. I just thought it was kind of weird. So when we went and we pulled out, right? And it's like my thing, whatever you call these places that we all live in little sardine cans together. My sardine can it is goes across the street too. So across the highway and over there, there's like a little realtor shop and it had a truck set out and there was a whole bunch of cars. And usually there's not ever any cars over there. And so I thought, oh, weird. And it looked like um, like there was writing on the side, like a, um, one of those um, food truck things. And so I thought, well, maybe it's a popular food truck. And they just pulled over there. And, you know, like how they'll tell that on Instagram or whatever they do. And then all these people, because it was just such a strange sight that I had not seen something like that before. And so I um, we drove and then we were coming back. And then she was like, well, maybe you should um, go over to the the little food truck thing. And then we got over there and I was like, maybe it's private. And then um, and then she said that she thought it was private or something. I didn't hear her say that. And so I got up 
and I went out there because I thought well, I was going to go look and see what the hell this is. Anyways, and then as I was walking up there, then I saw it was search and rescue. And so then I was like, oh, I just kind of, like I looked and I saw it said search and rescue. And I looked at her and saw this woman looking at me. I just went, ooh, <laughs> I just turned around and walked off like, ooh, oh no, no, like, I mean, when they're just, like, up there forming a thing, I don't want to just jump up. Hey, what's going on? Who's, me? you know, like, I'm looking for a drama. What's happening here? And so it was like, oh, gosh, I feel bad. But, you know, I don't want to be intrusive either. And so I just turned around and left. And then we went down to the gas station and got some deep, I got some deep buy, uh, fried food, some fish and chips. And then um, when we were coming back, they had a sign out now that it said this um, older dementia woman is missing and for us all to look inside of our sheds and stuff like that, which I know Stella would alert me. I went out there and looked in mine, but she's not out there in mine. But um, anyways, I just thought because last night they had the helicopters flying over us and then um, they had that out there because there were so many cops because even when I was leaving, I said, man, a sheriff is coming right out of there. The food truck it must be really good food. <laughs> I would never ever think like it must be search and rescue is set up over there. I mean, where would you even come up with that? And so it totally looked like a food truck situation to me. <laughs> and so um the sheriff pulled out and I was driving behind him. <clears throat> and on the way back, I saw he had a little place set up um, you know, to uh to pull people over if they were going too fast. And so, um, but he could have been just looking for a certain kind of car or just watching for some activity. I don't know. Because for it to be a dementia woman. But I just thought, you know, they could say anything. This is what we found. They just say anything. They come up with these stories. And then they, um, uh, but it's just a, a way to come and say, like, that they need to come onto your property. Or they need to search your property. Or they need to have... Uh, you know, people who are searching need to look and stuff. And I was like, you know, really, uh, for it to be a weekend when things could be going down, <laughs> for them to be gone, like, yeah, we're just out here looking for this old lady. She don't know where she's at. And I was like, man, I don't know. There's no coincidences. So I find it all suspicious. So I don't know. I, you know, if they come up to my thing, I'll just tell them, hey, I already looked. And my dog would alert me. I, I mean, luckily Stella puts a lot of people off. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, they figure out all sorts of different ploys to get onto people's property. That stuff has been going on and going on. People have been talking about and talking about all over social media. And um, so, anyways, and I don't know if it's, you know, a way to try and confiscate guns because they're about to invade or what. <laughs> like, I don't know. There's no telling what the hell, but right now there hasn't been anything, you know, happening, but there definitely is a, more of a police presence around than is normal, and that's not, you know, what you want, <laughs> like, more of them around here, so, um, but there was some more stuff, too, let me think of what, um, because I had seen, um, there was a couple more things I wanted to talk about, I think what it was, um, man, there's so many more, uh, uh, disasters, my gosh, now Indonesia has got a volcano too, and it's a huge one, it was, um, f the, um, uh, lava went like four miles when it started spewing or something, and nobody has been hurt yet, it was still, I mean, parts of Indonesia are already underwater. It's like some of the places that are getting hit so hard. It's just, oh, man. I just feel so bad for some of these people. And um, there was some... Uh, oh, yeah, that was the thing. It is, um, oh, the guy with the horns. Oh, my God. Uh, you know, the guy who they tried to make their, um, I don't know, martyr or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I already talked about this earlier. I don't know. Um, seems like I just saw these videos this morning after I recorded, but I don't know. Uh, so, um, but what I had, you know, about the guy with the horns and he had on, I don't know, a whole get up, 
And so they kept putting him up for that January bullshit and saying, uh, you know, uh, trying to make like that's all these Trump people are all weird, like this guy and stuff like that. And then, um, and they arrested that guy a long while ago and uh, a whole bunch of stuff, man. These people are so shitty. But I had seen so much uh, about where his family had spoken, especially his sister has been really outspoken. But uh, talking about that, um, you know, he's a really good guy. I think he's kind of, um, even, what's his name? I can't remember. He's done some of those pedo videos, but I can't remember his name. I used to watch him in 2020 Live and stuff. And I used to talk to him. He was also arrested. And he talked about some of the stuff. And I saw him on a someone's podcast or something, and he was talking about the the horrible way that the people are being treated in these jail, and they're not letting them out, not letting them have attorneys, nothing. I mean, it's really disgusting what they've done to these people, and um, and what they did to him. But even in just the way that they just destroy someone's reputation and stuff, and make fun of people, just like what I was talking about them doing that about Trump's butt while he's playing golf and stuff. They're just rude assholes, you know. And so they did that to that poor guy, you know, really just like tried to destroy his character and make fun of him and stuff. And he's really, you know, just supposedly a really nice guy, just kind of, you know, that kind of artsy and really, I don't know, just kind of a fun kind of person. And, um, but a really cool guy. And, uh, so now it's showing in the video that's been released that he really was, you know, a really cool guy. He wasn't, he was trying to be really nice and helpful and all sorts of stuff. He was not doing anything like what they said. And so I'm really happy for his vindication. And it's really exciting to see these people now, like um, Schumer, he is like, uh, he's a sinking ship. And McConnell, you now suddenly he's in the hospital with a concussion. Oh, okay. I, I, you know what, too? There was somebody had shared some picture of Kelly Ripa and her husband. Um, I think his name's like Mark Consuelos or something like that. And I, I think he, she's got it, you know, on her own show. But I just remember her off of um, General Hospital when I was younger. And, um, but her guy, I think he was on there, too. But, you know, he didn't, she got more famous doing the talk show, but, you know, he got up there to be a, a voice, per, you know, one of those people who are out there speaking, like, you have to lean a certain direction or they're not going to let you on that platform if you aren't a puppet. And so, you know, you know, she's got herself in some bullshit for sure, as far as I'm concerned, but her and her husband both. I have a boot on right now. I think we're going to see a lot, a lot of people with boots on all of a sudden. Because they're all, um, you know, people have got themselves in some shit. And um, so the, um, who was I going to say? Oh, yeah, because now all of a sudden McConnell, he's um, fallen and couldn't get up. And he's got a concussion. And, you know, that's the perfect way to say, you know, oh, well, it turned into a bleed and he couldn't get out of the hospital because he doesn't want to face, you know, he doesn't want to, um, I mean, he's done some bad stuff or it can even be the other side, you know, is going to pretend he dies and he's going to be there saying stuff against him. But I don't know, the stuff I saw since 2020, when they go up on him and stuff, it was like... He seemed scared of the other side. Like, he'd do anything that they said because he seems like a scared little puppet. And so, uh, you know, I don't think... I think he's definitely, you know, got himself in some crimes. And so, who knows if he's going to get out of the hospital. Schumer sweating like all these ones now. But, you know, 98% of them are going down. I mean, I don't know what 2% are going to be left. <laughs> Um, but most of them are going down and they're going down like in this, like there's, uh, all sorts of things what are happening to people, like uh, crazy things too. Like, I don't know some of them are just crazy, stupid things to draw in people's attention or something to get them to keep realizing, you know, all of this crazy nonsense keeps going on. 
but um i mean like what was the one with the uh the, the drug guy yesterday i think it was and his was a really it seemed like it was a really strange one i can't even remember i mean my head is just swimming with all of the crazy stuff that's going on there's so much crazy stuff so um you know, I just wanted to say that for sure, it seems like things are really going to be going um, now. Like at this point, uh, once the bangs start going, you know, unless the, the the white hats really have so much control that they can't do anything more to us. But I think this is when we're going to really see some big action. And then, you know, I mean, they're already saying they've got a mothership over us, so <clears throat> they can start lasering us or something, blow up whole towns and blame it on the aliens. Oh, it's the aliens. Like, come on to the 15-minute city. We'll save you from the aliens. And then, well, we have to monitor you about every single freaking thing. So, um, yeah, it's some bullshit. Uh, but um, there was another thing. Oh, was, well, anyways... I just feel really tired. So, um, but, so be prepared at this point for anything. And if the power goes out, so I would still come back in the morning and record, you know, just as normal as long as everything keeps going like this. But if things, um, if the power goes out or any of that stuff, I, and who knows, I mean, they could take down all the social media, you know, and then we'll just find each other on the other side, I guess. Um, but, um, as long as it's still up, I'm just going to record throughout the situation and kind of still, um, you know, journal it and document what is going on. But also I'll still um, do it even if I can't post it. And so by the time my power comes on, which who knows if we're, all of our powers will come on ever again at this point. Like we have no idea how it's all going to go down. I just know that what we're losing is a good thing and what we're gaining is going to be so much better. And so it's going to be really exciting. The whole problem is going to be just because people don't understand what's going on. It's going to be utter chaos and it's going to be people falling apart because they value things that have no value. So um, you got to still stay safe. There's still You will not be able to talk sense to some of these people. They're going to have voices in their heads screaming so loud that they're not going to hear a word anybody's saying. And they're going to have to just process this stuff. And who knows? I mean, some of these people might just drive their Mercedes right into the banks. So like, who knows what all is going to go down with some of this shit. So make sure you stay safe. And, um, you know, however this goes, hopefully, you know, I'll be back regularly in the morning and stuff. But we'll just have to see. Um you know, what goes is stay safe and remember, you know, it's all, it's all just the end of the game and it's the start of a new one. And so just let that stuff go. And, um, you know, I, I think it is not going to, I mean, if this is the stuff that's going on, trains exploding and stuff, I think we still have some time ahead for the sky to open and all of that stuff to go on. Like, but there is a lot happening because even in Indonesia, the explosions covered the sun. They have no sunlight because of all the ash. And, uh, you know, I mean, a, a lot of this, um, uh, these different prophecies and stuff, like we don't know all the stuff, how it's translated until we watch it play out. So a lot of it is we're going to have to, you know, see it all play out to understand it. And that's why it's going to be so much of it is, uh, you know, talking about it after. You know, like, uh, what did you do the day that the banks crashed? There'll be people jumping off buildings and it's like, I ran out and went shopping. <laughs> it's like, get away, you can. <laughs> and, but there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be in a deep panic. But, you know, as soon as, every, every soul is just playing this out different, you know, like, and so no judgment everybody's gonna play it out the way they're gonna play it out so just allow people to process it the way they have to process it but believe me don't frustrate yourself by trying to explain things to people that don't understand so um you know just stay safe and this could be this could be the week that everything changes fingers crossed so i'll talk to you later bye